reporter Kate Gardner recently attended Amnesty International's Human Rights Film Festival, which hosted a wide range of documentaries that help give a voice to struggles in our country and abroad. This week marks UNC Asheville's fifth annual Human Rights Film Festival held by our Amnesty International student chapter. From the 10th through the 14th, 10 films are screened with a follow-up discussion that aims to bring about awareness and further understanding of issues we as local and global citizens face. This week, I talked to the festival's director, Mark Gibney, to hear how it was started and why he feels it's beneficial to our community. David Sweat, old student of mine, retired banker, he five years ago said we need a film festival. And he just said he'll bankroll this thing. And that's how it started. When we first started, we had it at the Fine Arts Theater, Asheville Pizza and Brewing, and on campus. And then since then, we have sort of retreated to the campus. But yeah, it was, uh, it was just this entrepreneur who says, let's have a human rights film festival. Throughout the week, two films are screened each day at 4.30 and 7 in Highsmith University's Grotto, which offers free popcorn and soda for all who attend. After each film, there's a follow-up discussion led by members of our community, student organizations, and university faculty members to go more in-depth with the struggles and issues the films present. The festival attracts people of all ages and backgrounds, and in turn provides a forum for this diversity of opinions and experiences. I feel like that it, it helps raise consciousness about diversity because we, we are so diverse here, and even, but, we, but many times we don't recognize the, the diversity that we have on, on our own campuses, and we don't realize that some of the people here, parents are, are undocumented workers, and we, or are undoc undocumented themselves, and so raising issues to that kind of diversity it makes people more sensitive to the, kind, to the kind of hatred that these people experience on a day-to-day -day basis, and I feel that particularly for Particularly for students, we, we need that kind of diversity and that kind of diversity sensitivity. And I feel that events like this provide that. I think the Human Rights Film Festival is important because it helps highlight issues that aren't represented as prominently or aren't as visible and it allows students and anyone who's here to come together and more to, to seriously sort of consider and discuss these issues. And, potentially inspire some action about some of these issues? I think that it's, I find, you know, my field of inquiry, my field of, of research and scholarship is human rights, sort of passion. And I find that the film does, I think, more than books at times. I mean, it's one of the problems with human rights is that we are reading it sort of, let's say, in safe or relatively safe Western countries, reading about horrors that happen to other people on other sides of the of the world. And I think for many people, there's an immediacy to the film that you oftentimes don't have or almost always don't have in terms of, of uh, literature. So I think one reason I tend to use film is for that sense of immediacy. I think people, particularly younger people, have uh, th that this is m more the way that they learn things than they do in the written text. Particularly like the Human Rights Film Festival, the film is such a mainstream media that it appeals to a lot of people and I feel that it's an extremely important experience and I feel that film can be an extremely important media to reach people and I feel like these these kind of events bring the community together and, and, and bring up a kind of consciousness raising that's unique and, and that's unique to college campuses that you can have that availability to to so many different types of issues and so many different types of people that I feel like college campuses are facilitate these kind of events even more because you, they're, they're just of the diversity that you have. I think they're extremely important for the community. I don't think you can see these films as easily anywhere else because, you know, there's not a lot of money behind them. They're, they're, they concern issues that really aren't as popular, aren't as uh, they're sort of controversial, so, sort of uneasy. In terms of visibility, I mean, I don't know. I, I just, I think that these are important movies. I do. I think that they're movies that show, I mean, what a, human rights is about how we treat one another. And, that's, and I think that is important. In fact, I'd go so far as to say is that it's by far the most, single most important thing that one could study, that one could pursue. But I am a bit biased on that. So, and, and that's what these do, movies do. They, they're intended to cajole and to make you feel uncomfortable and, and they raise, in many cases, disturbing issues. 
and and that's what a that's what life is about. It ought not to be going, th you know, with a protective shell. And I don't want to, you know, it's it's this is how some people on the globe live, and pretending otherwise or ignoring that is not the that, that's not being a true human being. The festival, which is the largest of its kind in the southeast, is free and open to the public. Hopefully, you had a chance to check out some of the films, but if not this year, there's always next year. For Mountain Highlights, I'm Kate Gardner with photographer Host Lee.